I've never been this clean before. Not even when I was born, I don't think. You weren't clean then, neither. You ever seen a baby when it first comes out? All bloody and covered in mom goop? I showed you I was got mangoes. I know. And you know what I thought I would hate, but turns out I don't? The way the dryer plays a song when it's done. I like the dryer song. I know. It's like, here, I made your clothes all warm for you. Now I'm gonna sing you a lullaby or whatever. Anything in there? No, not really. Some Senator guy got a BJ from another Senator guy. Bunch of people got E. coli shits from lettuce, and uh, this whole section's on dining al fresco. Is that French for eating naked or something? Uh, no, it's naked in the pictures. There we are, so you. Shit, it's Jeff. Your new life begins here, with original hardwood floors, recessed lighting, and for the end of the day, when we come together to remember why we do it all, the fireplace. Indulge. Let me invite you outside, to where nature and our lives intertwine, on a spacious outdoor patio, perfect for dining al fresco. Now I'm heading down south, so get ready for soup picks from 11 different states. I got 1,300 people watching. You want to say hi? Hard pass. OK, we got to go, y'all. Chowder. Soup pun. Uh-huh. We're not wearing uniforms? No, no uniforms today. It's you, me, and my friend Tommy Bahama. I thought it was just us. No, Tommy Bahama is the name of the man who makes these shirts. I know, but why is he coming with us? Is he rich? Jay, I was making a. Now look, I think I was pretty clear about this trip. You realize all of this is off the clock. It's not like we're going to Disney World, unless, unless we're going to Disney World, Sarge? Well, we're gonna be traveling out of our jurisdiction, so it'd be inappropriate to be in uniform. You got any street clothes? No, I just got work clothes and I got comfies. Yeah. What is all of this? This is my stuff for my vlogs and my blogs, okay? Lights, selfie sticks, couple extra cameras. Here, take this one. Sarge, when is the last time you took a vacation, and what is it with this Wayne kid? It's got a gut feeling about him. Just let a badger in Florida handle it. That's what I'm afraid of. Boy like that gets put in the system, they rarely get out. I figure I got a second chance, Jay. It's now my turn to give somebody else one. Sounds like a bad seed to me. Well, we'll see. Just want to catch up with him before everything else does. And her, the girl. Right, her too. They couldn't have gotten that far on a dirt bike. We'll find them. And her. Right. Her, too. So you got any of our guys on this? No, sir. We're leaving Brockton out of this. If you could buy any of these houses, which would it be? The one with the big fucking tree or the one with all the flowers? Can't afford gas. Never mind a house. Oh, I know, but for fun, if you could. I'll take any of them. I can't believe that hooker lady robbed us. We need to get money. Maybe we get jobs or something? Oh, yeah, good idea. You go get your suit press for your interviews, and I'll go grab my college diploma real quick. We gotta get to Florida so we can get your car and get the hell out of Florida. We need to get gas to get to Florida. Oh, hi. There's an idea. You know what they're doing, right? Am I standing there? Wearing hats, what? No, they're standing around waiting for somebody to pick them up to help with construction and shit. Day laborers. Best part about being a day laborer is it's only a day and you get paid cash. 
I ain't never done construction before. Anyone can do construction. My brothers do construction, and they got half a brain between them. You get cash, we get gas, then we go. Well, what are you gonna do? I don't know, maybe have a hamburger, play some laser tag? Dude, I'm joking. Don't worry about it. You're not gonna... What? You're not gonna steal, right? I'm not gonna goddamn steal. I was gonna do what my parents did when bills came. Sell some shit. Got my headphones and this necklace is like 14 carats. Hey, Ma gave you the necklace. My mom taught me how to survive, too. Which is ironic, seeing how she's dead and all. Guess I'm off to work then. Hold up. So you don't get sun cancer or nothing. I didn't steal it, it was free. Like a pack of Starburst. Yeah. I want to try a real mango now. If we get to Florida, I'll get you a real mango. I'll see you back at the house later. Job for you? Don't get in that car, Dinguito. It's a different kind of job. Ramon, no mames. No seas tu mamón. Move with you in a sec. I'm sorry, what, what were you saying? None of this is worth anything. Listen, I really need some, some money. Yeah, me too, bitch. We were in a car wreck and my husband... A uh, cheap watch. I just need some money to bury him. Please, if there's anything that you could do, I'm really in a tight spot. Lady, this is a pawn shop. The people come in here with stuff generally aren't the thing that are going fucking great for me types. It's sob stories like yours all day long. So, again, no thank you. Hey, go on. Go to your mom. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Do you at least got a tissue? There's some TP. In the gym. Come on, let's go. Okay, kid. Let's see what you got. When that lady gets back from the shitter, you're gonna tell her you was wrong and a crap is worth something after all. You excuse me? I saw that little uh fake ID and phony passport factory you got back there. I'm sure the cops would like to see it too. Go ahead and call them. It'll be gone when they get here. Oh, yeah, will the picture I took on my phone be gone by the time they get here, Dick Stick? Excuse me, ma'am. I've changed my mind about buying some of your worthless junk. Changed my mind about buying this. Thanks, Stick Stick. Back up! All right, I got a two-day job. I need five guys. You got tools? See? In the back. You got tools? See. You got tools? You got tools? See. You got tools? See. ¿Quién viene? El uno, aplácate. Está grave. Homie, prepárate. Oh! Fuck you, Dale. Get your dumb 
miles away from my car. Hey, I got this, I got this. Okay, you heard the boss. Back to trabalho. Come on. Yeah, I habla the Spanish. Tell him to get back to work, Steve. It's all right. He's been in there a while, right? He's got to be three, four beers deep by now. What the fuck do I know? I figure five minutes a beer. Piss breaks. How the fuck long I'm gonna sit in your fuck? Jesus, let the man have a few beers in peace, please. His daughter's missing. He's worried out of his gourd. With everything he's going through, you're gonna be the beer police? We could at least put on some tunes. Do not. We're not allowed to touch daddy's radio after last time. You know, I bet he doesn't even remember our birthday tomorrow. Christ, would you shut the fuck up? He's in there getting bombed. We should be the ones celebrating. No, it's my birthday before yours. You hear me complaining? Oh, that minute and 40 seconds makes you so fucking mature. You know I had that cord wrapped around my neck? You snooze, you lose. You know, we're gonna be sitting outside the hotel room tomorrow doing nothing because he's gonna be nursing his hangover. Hey! I was not allowed to smear the name of our father like this. You know, there are only three real men in Brockton, Mass. One, Rocky Marciano. Two, Marvin Hagler. Three, my father. The man is a goddamn legend. Fuck this, I'm getting my jokes. No, you're fucking not. What the fuck do you care? Because you're gonna make me a compliment after the fact. I'm getting my fucking jokes. There we go. Ah, feels like a Chuck James day. Chuck James. Thank you so much. See ya. Can I do anything for you, my child? Yeah. Don't go molesting nobody. What the hell? This looks like shit. We'll have to redo all of this. Idiota! That Spanish for idiot. ¿Qué pasa? Es que no sirve este pendejo. All right, tell your amigos it's quitting time. All right, amigos, it's quitting time. Right, I'll drop you at the parking lot. You can go back to your castles or whatever Mexican for shithole is. 6 a.m. tomorrow, you might want to show up. It's payday. Gracias, señor. Oh, chico de mierda won't be here. Fitting there? What happened to a secret knock? Sorry, sorry, I forgot. I thought you was Jeff. You nearly gave me a freaking coronary. Hey, by the way, we gotta go to a funeral. Who died? Some lady's husband. From back home? From here. You know people here? No. I saw her at the pawn shop. This lady lost her husband in the car crash. And she ain't got no money for a casket. Anyway, we gotta go to Henry's funeral. Henry's the dead guy? It's his funeral, ain't it? And a lady invited you to the funeral. Yeah, she was handing out invitations at the pawn shop. They're real pretty. You should see a pin one on the fridge. I'm kidding. Jesus. I gotta find something black to wear. So you're gonna buy a dress for a funeral for a guy you don't know because you saw this lady? I'm confused. It's just sad, okay? I think we should go. What, you don't think people being dead is sad now? I think people being dead is sad. So what's with the interrogation? If you don't want it, you don't have to. I have to work. How was it? Your day or whatever? Everyone's not nice, and I think the boss hates me. That's good. I ain't never been to a funeral before. Not even for your mom? I know you think it's weird that I want to go to a funeral, and maybe it is, but I want to. And I don't need you to understand because maybe I don't understand either, okay? Hijo de todo tu pinche madre. Oh man. Who did this? 
If Eric sees this, he's gonna flip shit. Look, you seem like an okay kid, but you suck at this. Maybe you could do a lumber run. Huh? You know how to drive, right? No. I can figure it out. Jesus Christ, kid. I got a better job for you. Since you're really good at breaking shit, why don't you go tear down that wall between the parlor and the den? Think you could do that? Yes. Nice birthday gift. Goddamn lamp to my head. It serves you right for draining the man's fucking car battery. You had to have your precious tunes. I fucking told you. I don't understand what you're smiling about, to be honest, Ted. Okay, now we gotta spend our birthday getting this man a car battery while he sleeps off his fucking hangover. You know what? That's the last time I wanna hear you talk about the man's drinking. You know what, Carl? I've had it up to here with the disrespect from you, to be honest. You know what? I'm just saying this is our special day, okay? So that means we owe it to ourselves to get something cool, a couple 40s or something. Hey, I can at least four more lampshades inside. You want to add to that, China? Oh, fucking guy. Who snuck you into the Bruins game that one time? What? He was wicked ham. We got 86 first fucking period. Always with the black lining. Look, we'll get the fucking battery, all right? But we're going to Flappy Jacks with free hotcakes first. It's our God-given right. We ain't getting shit. But Daddy always gets free hotcakes on his fucking birthday. All right, fine. But only because it's Daddy's tradition. Tradition. I think you found your calling. Like you're like the holy evil or something. Oh, Conan, the barbarian. Mm. Oh! What the fuck did you do? Did he tell you to demo the parlor wall? I told him. That's not the parlor wall, it's the fucking living room wall! This is coming out of your pay! I told him to. What's that, Pepe? Because of the mold. You should be thanking this guy. Just... You fucking get back to work and get the fuck out of my face. Knock him dead, sweetie. Yeah, well, he's already dead, so. You are into some weird shit, little. Hot cakes! Three hot cakes and two tap waters. Let me know if you big spenders would like some saltines or ketchup packets as well. This is no way to treat the birthday boys here. Well, you want me to sing a happy birthday or something? That depends. What's 15% of nothing? 15% who are we, Bill Grates? Cheap bastards. Free hotcakes! Free motherfucking hotcakes! Free motherfucking hotcakes. You know, I guarantee you this is the only thing we get today. You think that cheap piece of shit is gonna get us a present or something? This again? Yeah, this again. When's the last time he bought anything for us? Okay, listen, he's not the best gift giver, I get that, but who pays for that roof over you had, you ungrateful sack of shit? We got evicted twice last year because he did not. Holy shit. Flappy's got beers. Hey, menu lady! Menu lady! Beers here. Beers delivered here to Domestic this location. Domestic only! Miss! Miss! Miss, hello! What about the dress? It looked fat boo on you. Oh, I think I'm just going to wear my own clothes to the funeral. Funeral? You gonna wear this sexy ass thing to a funeral? It's black, ain't it? Yeah, true. You know, at my uncle's funeral, my auntie propped him up like he was playing poker. Different strokes. Kenny ain't here to judge. Anyway, my condolences. A family? I actually don't know the guy or his wife. I just I can't stop thinking about it. Like I gotta be there or something. I don't know. Well, it's better than not caring at all. So I just guess it doesn't really matter what I wear. Thanks, though. Uh, hey. Take it. It's on me. You don't have to do that. Oh, Child, I still shit from here all the time. Like mole. Never had it. Yeah, try it. Mm. 
Descanso. Oye, Ramón. No le des de comer a los animales, güey. Qué mierda, cabrón. No, que se chinga él. Y que chupa mi verga. What do you say? He says he wants to share some of his lunch with you, too. Oh, sure, bring it over. Oh, it's okay. I had some earlier. Thanks for this. My pleasure, mijo. Pretty cool how you find I'm old. <laughs> Not old. Mole. Why'd you do that? It seemed like you needed a break. Plus, the boss is an hijo de gran puta. Alberto called me the same thing earlier. I think that's good. You should try the way my wife makes it. Mm, even better. Man, I miss that woman. Where is she? In Oaxaca. The whole family is. Man, it must be really hard. Yes. It's a long time to be with no wife in bed, you know? <laughs> what about you? You got a family? No, no more. No one. There's a girl. My girlfriend. I want her to be. I don't know what she wants. And sometimes what she wants doesn't make any sense. Just listen and show her that you care. Don't try to fix it. Just listen and nod. <laughs> then maybe you'll get your mole. I can do that. Finding our fresco. How about the fact that he always makes us share these tracksuits? Is that not fucking weird to you? We love these tracksuits. You do, because you get the top half. How come every time I have to be the fucking bottom? Because you're a whiny ass. That's why you're the fucking bottom. Okay, we're closing. So, you guys gotta go. I thought you were open 24 hours. We are, just not today. Is this any way to treat the two birthday boys here? Do I really have to go get my dick manager and go through all that? Fine, we're leaving. I'm taking these flat beers. You remember that time Daddy took us to go skating at AZF Arena? But he was too fucking cheap to pay for us both. So you got to go skating, and I sat there watching your shoes. And then he was too bored or drunk or both. And we had to go. I, didn't have, I never had my fucking turn skating. Man, my daddy fucked you. You should have gotten your turn. That's what I've been saying. I'm glad you heard me when you needed to hear me. You should have my bones or something. Whoa, that is so fucking crazy that you say that, because I fucking do. I beat that shit. Thanks, bro. What the fuck? Are you fucking serious We're right now? A fucking conversation Are you here. stupid? Jesus fucking people. Christ. What the fuck is this fucking... Whatever, let's just get the fucking battery before he gets a fucking shit fit. Let's kick daddy's ass. What? Let's kick his fucking ass. All our lives he's pushed us around. Do this, Carl. Do this, Teddy. It's time he knows we got our limits. We got bigger. We're stronger. Hey, we can take him, right? Let's kick his fucking ass. Where's everyone at? Quitting time. Eric's taking the rest of the guys. Is there more work? You don't want to go with them, believe me. I mean, you almost got carted off with them till Eric realized you wasn't one of them illegals, too. Illegals? Yeah, you know, immigrants. Guys that ain't supposed to be here. OK, I'll tell you, because we the same. Check it out. Eric came up with this thing where he makes them work, and then he drops them off in immigration so we don't have to pay him. <laughs> Smart, huh? What do they do with them? They run. Some of them get shipped back to where they came from. You just see them scatter when they realize where they are. Cracks me up every time. Ay, 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 What, yeah?
wasn't. It was an illegal. And it's now... Hey, it's all my gear! It's been too easy for too long. Where to are you taking us? Send you to immigration. I mean that. Go to the ambulance. You Gracias. fuck. Gracias, gringo loco. Fuck. Nice work, on you. You take care of that girl, okay? No, 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 Ready. A minute 40 seconds after you. Okay, now remember, don't see good at his left eye. Okay, so hit him from the left, punch him in the dick, hold him down, all the way around him. Okay, okay. Wife is already lying down. Skip step one, straight to the straight dick. Straight to the dick. Okay, on my mark, on three. One, two, three. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we got voicemails. Happy birthday, Teddy. Happy birthday, Carl. Fucking hell. Thoughtful bitch. Let's go get that battery. What shall I do put myself by your side? What shall I say put myself mm -hmm, by your yeah. side? Yeah. What I, shall uh, I go? wanted to be here for uh, put myself, mm -hmm, Harry. Henry. We gather here today to celebrate the life of Henry Dunn, who has now returned to his home with our God, the Father. Don't knock it off. Our life taken far too soon. Losing a parent is never easy, especially for a small child. Just know that Henry will always be here to What shall I teach? Put myself mm -hmm. by your side. What shall I change <laughs> to put myself along? Next on Wayne. I don't know if I'm the type of person that people would really even like or whatever. Well, sometimes you get people to like you, you gotta not be you at all. Why does she care if people fucking like her or not? If people aren't assholes now, they're gonna become assholes later. Mark my fucking words. You're smart, you're kind, you're pretty, you can do a freaking underwater handstand. Maybe I wanna be noticed for once. For something good. 